You know, Sony really has the upper hand here. They could really be petty if they want to because Microsoft showed their hand early. So PlayStation could just come around and be like, you know what? $498. We all have really ugly face tattoos. This was a bad idea in college. Dude, is this? No, it's not. No, they're not show. No, it can't be. Uh, you guys see that? You see the dog? Can you pet the dog in this game? Are they really gonna throw at us medieval renaissance fair Final Fantasy? Because I am so about it. Dude, this looks incredible. How are you gonna say there's no console war when Sony goes and does stuff like this? Like, opening their event with Final Fantasy 16. This is definitely a setting that I can get behind. I don't know, 15 and like, driving around in the car. It, it wasn't it for me. But this... I'm ready. All right, come on, just just give us the title card already. We're all ready to see it. Mm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, they just had to throw it in their face too. Also available on PC, so technically not exclusive. Listen, I don't mean to bring the console war up because I believe that there is something to offer from all consoles, but how are you gonna follow that up? I, I don't even think they need to advertise this game anymore or really give us any insight. They could just be like, hey, Spider-Man. Is this Destiny Spider-Man? I feel like that's what they tried with Avengers and it was just hot garbage. As someone who lives in New York, I can confirm that this is definitely what the Manhattan Bridge looks like during rush hour. Why is Spider-Man one superhero working way faster than every construction worker fixing the Gowanus Expressway. You know what? This this is too niche of a New York joke. As someone who's relatively new to Harry Potter, I didn't read the books when I was young. My wife was like, hey, we need to watch all the movies because we're going to Universal soon. And so I did. Puts on the sorting hat and immediately it's like, oh, garbage. Okay, here's our annual Call of Duty game. Pass. We hope you enjoyed the Call of Duty reveal, which has even more call and even more duty than last time. But this has to be Resident Evil. I don't know, I was never really a big Resident Evil guy, but everything they're showing off, I feel like I need to play. Okay, maybe not. I'm getting Coraline vibes. If you want to not be able to sleep for a week, watch Coraline. Okay, they're, they're kind of running out of things they could do with Roman numerals. You know what also this game reminds me of? Have you ever played Katana Zero, where you kind of need to kill a bunch of enemies in sequence? It's an indie game, and it's a good game that you should play. A little short, but this kind of seems like that. This is Motion Sickness, the video game. I was going to say, Devil May Cry already came out. I haven't played it. I haven't actually played any Devil May Cry games. Capcom is doing well during this event. They're eating good. Dante looks like somebody's alcoholic uncle. That's it? No smash? We're all kind of just sitting here with our credit cards in hand, waiting to see, or at least I am, waiting to see when we could pre-order this damn thing. Tony's been blue balling us for months. Hello, I'm Lord Lanning, and I wanted to see how many ugly character designs I could fit in one game. The Oddworld games are just games that I kind of glossed over when I would go rent from the video store, but I know people like them. Are they any good? Are they platformers? Like, what? what is this? It's like Alien Crash Bandicoot, or is it more like a Lemmings game? I uh, I don't do well with horror games. I would be down, you know, October's coming up. I feel like I'm gonna have to play some horror games on the channel. What would you guys want to see? Oh, it's a Five Nights at Freddy's game. Am I allowed to play this if I'm not eight years old? These guys are not very good at sword fighting. Okay, he might be a problem. This is Demon Souls, right? The Demon Souls remake? Yeah, it is. Another series that I haven't played, and I know I'm never going to because I don't have the time to play all of these games. <laughs> Damn it, I'm gonna make the effort. Oh, what is this? This is pretty. Can we, I, oh, it's Fortnite, Never mind. goodbye. Hang on a second, is Sony really going to give all these games away to PlayStation Plus members? Because that'll be incredible if they just drop a library of backward compatible triple A titles that you can just download on day one. They're gonna do it, aren't they? They're gonna give all these games away for free or well, for being a PlayStation Plus member. What are we thinking, 4.99? I think like $3.99 would be the sweet spot, but after all that, there's no way they can't put a $1,000 price tag on it and not instantly sell out. The digital edition is $100 less. Sony really had the opportunity right here to drop a $4.98 price tag, and they did not. To close, let me leave you with one more quick look.